this is my hot shot number 11 and this hot shot has to do with something that is very obvious but I would say it's not basically it is making sure that you sketch what you see and not what you know about what you're seeing so basically I have a line and one side I will call it no this is what I know about what I'm gonna sketch now and this is what I see if you keep on sketching what you know it would end up being like what you know but you don't want that to happen you wanna sketch what you see so it would look like what you see so I'm gonna show you in two quick demos how these things can apply. Now my son Joshua is reading at the moment and I'm gonna quickly sketch trying to look at him but I'm gonna make some assumptions about what I know and you will see how it makes a difference between when I decide to concentrate and sketch what I see very quickly now. I've really just done so much very quickly I'm not really concentrating on the image but I'm I'm assuming I know so much about him already probably because he's my son and um, I'm making so many assumptions that these assumptions even though it might end up somehow like him but it's what I know and not everything I see All right but I'm gonna try my best to to do it this way okay so you can understand what I'm talking about just gonna put some shade here I'm just gonna quickly very quickly just make some shades just where the darks are head goes that way. I'm not really concentrating here but I'm trying my best to make it um, very quickly, not really paying attention but let's just try my best to make this point I'm trying to make. Right. This is what I this is what I know. I've made a lot of assumptions, but it's even though it might still have some similarities, but this is what I know. Now I'm going to concentrate and sketch what I see and you would see the difference. I'm more full of concentration. I'm checking how does that forehead move. It 
comes down paying attention and those of us that sketch human beings this is one way that it would end up looking exactly like what you're sketching right, check that angle there right from his head there check that I didn't check that tilt remember now I'm checking it everything I want to get even though it's a sketch but I'm making sure it's what I see. Look at this eye area here. I'm really deliberately making sure that I'm not drawing what I know here, but what I'm seeing. And you've got to trust your eyes. You have to trust your eyes. That's one thing. We're not wired to see this way. But you're going to have to trust your eyes and do exactly what you see. And not just what you know, but what you see. That's why I'm taking time, really taking time to make it be exactly what I see. And even though it's still a sketch, but I'm working on it looking at distances trying to make sure I get that curve in the mouth not just an assumption of it but exactly how I feel it is I don't just bring that line down I check it again to see Go now from where I was start plotting. This is where structure comes in. There's a part of his head that comes here, just like a cube comes down. But check that distance, it looks small, it has to be what I'm seeing, not what I think. And then from his eye there, I'm going to check that. I'm going to check everything. Just very quickly, but still it's a sketch. Still it's a sketch. I have to check it everywhere. Okay, so trying to get exactly what I think, not what I think, sorry, what I see, exactly what I see, exactly what I see. Okay. So that's the difference. So, gonna shade it again. Shade it. Shade. 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 looks too deep, I cut it back, don't make any assumptions, shade, and here, I, I'm very careful to watch exactly where the mouth actually ends, so it's a faint line drawn down to know where that ends what I see, even around the eye here, there's a little dark thing, I'm not just making assumptions, it's what I see, 
and the rest is dark, and then the rest is dark, over here. The way his forehead comes out, watch this contour. Remember the blind contour, I'm just going right round until I get to his head, and then I keep that going. Okay, I'm going to shade his hair dark now. Shade his hair dark. And even take it a bit higher, shading all that area. Still trying to follow exacts. Exacts goes a long way and makes a lot of difference. I'll come back to that head again. By the way, I'm using a carbon, a carbon pencil. I'm not going to go into the detail of the air, but this is just to show you how exactly what I'm seeing be produced. I'm going to take that little bit of his chin there and just throw it in and merge it right with where the shadow comes underneath. Go back to his eyebrows, just make these little marks here. Marks here. Get down his nose, watch the angle where that thing comes down, try my best to pick it up, watch the mouth movement, watch the eyes, watch the eyes, how it comes out from that eye socket area, following the shade. The movement of the mouth. That mouth, somehow, I think he moved a bit, but still, I go back to exactly what I can see. Not assumptions, not just because it's a sketch, but making sure I do exactly what I see. Let's make this shade. Rub it. Make this side of the nose there. Neck. Neck. And then here. Now, I want you to just look at the difference between this and that. The difference is, here I just did a very quick sketch and I made so many assumptions. I know his head moves this way, I know his eyes go that way, I know, you know. But here you can see, I was taking my time, even though I was a bit fast, but making sure I was actually acting on what I saw. And the key thing is there will be a big difference. A big difference between what you know and what you see. So my encouragement for you is don't make assumptions to sketch what you know but what you are seeing. That is hot shot number 11. Thank you.